You're gonna owe me one, Charisse. Looks like a dead end here. Let's pack it up. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? 12 o'clock. We've got active funerals and volcanic debris on the seafloor. Ford was right. Take us forward 20 degrees. Ford's live right now. How would you categorize putting 500 ton machines on the seabed, digging and tearing up the sea bottom, obliterating everything in their path to obtain a small amount of minerals and metals? It's not a small amount. What about the sea life? From what I understand, the metals you seek are found on volcanic seamounts and hydrothermal vents. Hotspots for hundreds of life forms, many of which are completely new to science and exist nowhere else. Life forms that may vanish before we even identify what they are, if your mining is allowed to go forward. On the contrary, we're ideally situated to allow for the discovery of new life forms. Take us over that ridge. Your detractors say you were planning to tear apart unique marine environments that exist nowhere else. If mankind needs to continue using technology Keep going. like we have today, we have to find new sources of raw materials. Ocean mining is the Keep answer. Keep going. Look at that. Polymetallic nodules, hundreds of them. Not all nodules contain manganese. Ones on volcanoes do. Let's do what we came here for. What to sample? We only have permission to survey. Oh, come on, you know what Ford would say. Rather ask for forgiveness than for permission. But we're not him. Riley, you know the next step would be to collect a sample. Okay, and permitting's gonna take weeks. I mean, why go through all that if this claim is a dud? Let's dig, let's bring up some of that nugget. I mean, the fines would be a lot less than what it would cost to bring us back out here. Why can I never say no to you? Yes! Now I can show you what the sticker can do. There we go. That's the mother load. needs to be left alone. We've lost contact. Today, we're inviting viewers to our remote operating facility to take a look at the ocean floor in a way that's never been done before. Follow me. There you have it. Iconoclastic billionaire Billy Ford going his own way, as his legions of fans and detractors will agree. Love him or hate him, he's pushed boundaries on land. Now he's doing it in the ocean. I I'm still on the call. Of course. So this kind of mining, it can be done remotely? That's right. Our machines are tethered to surface buoys and linked by our satellite. Technology pioneered here at Benthic Prospecting. Our operation represents the future and not just here on Earth. Benthic Prospecting are going to be in the vanguard of those extracting these materials to safeguard our future. Let me show you. It only takes a team of two to run one of our machines. The rest is fully automated. Now, Charisse, why don't you load up one of the live feeds from our deep digger? Uh, sir. Now, there's gonna be about a one minute delay, but given the fact this machine's over a mile deep, it's a great achievement to get a feed from one of our relays. <clears throat> sir. Yep. We don't have a video feed. So I can see. James, you on this? When are we gonna get that feedback online? Mr. Ford, sir, um, it's Riley. Can we speak to you for a second? These cameras go down all the time. It's just one of the hazards of working near volcanic rifts. We're currently surveying a newly discovered volcanic area. Isn't that right, Charisse? Yes, sir. Sir, we have a problem. A very big problem. Uh... We have a slight glitch here, Susan. Uh, let's reconvene this conversation. And when we come back, we're gonna have something really big for you. I take full responsibility for going into the caldera. No, it was me. I take full responsibility. I pushed the issue. But I went along with it. Yeah, but you didn't want to. You didn't exactly put a gun to my head. 
Don't give me any ideas, Riley. Cherise! Riley, you're new, but Cherise, you've been with me from the beginning. You're both too valuable to me to be sitting around playing blame games. My mom always told me you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Of course, her omelets didn't set me back quite so much. I'll tell you what, depending on what we find, you can pay me back in installments. That's a joke, Riley. We'll salvage it. Prepare for departure. We're heading out for the trench. Billionaire mining magnate Billy Ford and his Benthic Perspective company deal with a major setback as their premier deep sea mining robot, the Deep Digger, goes offline. This 500 ton and billion dollar robot was apparently surveying an unexplored region of the Pacific when it vanished. International environmental authorities, including the ISA, are looking into his operations. And experts indicate this could be a death blow for Benthic Perspective and its dreams of mining the deep. Ah, mon ami. <laughs> so, uh, listen, we have this woman here. I right? tried chasing her away, but she has these official papers. I want to have papers, good papers. Really? Oh, right. I think we have an actual woman on the vessel. Thanks, Captain. Good luck. Mr. Ford. Sarah Murray, Marine Observer from the International Seabed Authority. Our office put in a call? We've been preoccupied. I see. My job is, by a government mandate, to ensure that environmental regulations are upheld on any maritime mining expedition. <sighs> this isn't a mining expedition. According to your ship's manifest, you are on a salvage operation of a deep mining ROV in international waters. Listen, we need to leave. Get your office to coal mine and we can set up an appointment to discuss future benthic prospecting operations. Mr. Ford, I am authorized to inform you that by refusing a government observer, you and your company are subject to fines. We'll pay the fine. Fines and or government impoundment of your vessel and equipment, not to mention any future applications, will be heavily scrutinized. I see that you have a permit for geological survey, and your mining permit is still under review. Correct. Your cooperation with the ISA is one of the conditions of the permit, and this includes an onboard environmental observer. Like I said, this isn't a mining expedition. One last thing. I'm curious. How did you identify the Kermatic Trench as a source for mining? All right. Answer me this. As a member of the ISA, can you tell me who else, what companies, nations, other interested parties might have been looking at claims on that area of the seafloor? I can do that. Well, in that case, welcome to Benthic Prospecting. I can assure you my team follow all maritime rules. We're groundbreakers, not lawbreakers, Miss Murray. Miss. Well, according to our records, your company is the only one who's applied for a permit to survey that area. It's kind of off the radar. I'm curious. What brought you into this field? Marine environmental observer. Can't be the pay. Unfortunately not. Frankly, there weren't a ton of jobs for a graduate with a degree in geomythology that didn't involve sitting at a desk. Do you know what that is? It's a wooden platform with four legs, isn't it? You put things on it. Very funny, Mr. Ford. I know. Yes, Miss Murray, I know what it is. The use of stories and myths to corroborate natural disasters in the historic record. That's right. I told you my team and I use every resource to our advantage. If a geomythology treatise proposes an eruption in an area without previous volcanic activity, we take notice. I'm impressed. Would you like me to leave the room? How far? We'll be approaching the coordinates shortly. How's the prep going on the ROV, Riley? Ready to deploy at your command, sir. Okay. 
Let's take a look at this terrain. Initiating sonar scan. What was the source that led you to survey this area? Subsonic tremor. After one of Madagascar, we started keeping our eyes out for something similar. That turned out to be an underground magma chamber collapsing and emptying out. That brought us on to look for other similar unrecorded events. We started picking up signals from the Kematic Trench. Turns out they'd been there all along, just no one had ever noticed because the frequency of vibration was too low. Uh, there's no telling what you can find out there. Huh? I've been out at sea for 20 years and <laughs> I'm still surprised. Uh, St. Elmo's Fire, Fata Morgana, Phantom Islands. We know more about the surface of Venus than we know about our own ocean floor. Maybe we should be looking there for the digger. What? Nothing. OK, we're coming up to the area where we lost contact with the deep digger rig. Can you enhance the view? From this distance, we wouldn't be able to make out the digger. I know. Look at the sea floor. What do you see? Caldera. I'll look again. These readings show massive surface subsidence and erosion. Something's taken off the top third of this volcano. Now, what kind of mining rig can do that? That wouldn't be corporate owned. Something of that size would be state sponsored. Chinese or Canadian? Or the CIA. Ah, so you know about the Gloma expedition. I like you. Hmm. Project Design. Everyone in ocean mining worth their salt knows about that. Said they were looking for manganese. Turns out they were bringing up nukes from a sunken Russian sub. No, it wasn't nukes. You have seen the film The Abyss, huh? Based on a true story. Oh, come on. No, it's true, really. They are down there. Something is there. I'm sure no one else has applied to mine this region. Nothing on our books. Well, it wouldn't be, would there? I mean, look at the scope of that destruction. I'd say they bypass the mining regulations altogether. Let's scrap the ROV. We need to get down there and check this out ourselves. Prepare the submersible. Sir, under the circumstances, I would suggest using the ROV. It's much safer. So I want to check this out with our own eyes. Yeah, I feel it's my duty to inform you. Riley, if you want to stay on the surface, that's OK. No. Sir, I'm, I'm with you. Charisse? I'm in. Ms. Murray, hope you don't get claustrophobic. Right, let's get the show on the road. Captain Lorison. Aye, aye, sir. We are dropping you in. How deep are we going today, Cherise? 3,400 meters. How deep have you gone before in this thing? 3,000 meters. But it's been tested way beyond spec. This thing's designed to take the pressure at at least 4,000 meters. We could run into a mountain and still be OK. Not that I'm planning on running into any mountains. And we can communicate with the surface, if you fancy ordering a pizza. I'm vegan. Oh, you and Sharif's both. Well, oh. vegan pizza we can't do, but we can. Oh, someone's beating me to it. Normally, we have some vegan cheese. Yeah, I've had a few problems with milk products on board. It's not the milk or the cheese that's the problem. It's the after effects, you know, ventilations. And yeah, I get it. Ever heard of the Cheetos incident? No. On the shuttle? Really bad. Almost took out the entire air ventilation system. Not good if you're in space. Should be getting a reading now. 
Any sign of the deep digger? Negative. I am getting something weird, though. When we were surveying the area, it was covered in polymetallic nodules. Now they're gone. The entire topography is different. If it isn't a rival mining conglomerate, then what is it? Going for a closer look. See there? The entire surface of the seabed has been scraped away. What's that? I don't know. That ridge was not there before. Is it volcanic? Is it safe to be going in this close? I was about to ask the same question. I'm not picking up any volcanic activity. Anything coming up on the LIDAR? <sighs> Image coming in now. Surface is hard and volcanic silica. Move in for a closer look. Okay. I want to get some still shots of that. Activating the forward lights. Having a close encounter with uh, I don't I don't know what this is. Uh, are you reading this? I doubt it's close than ours. We sat right on top of it. You see us? I see you. What the hell are you doing there? I do not have a good answer to that. Can you communicate with them? It's not a them. Our scans indicate it's a single life form. Kaiju. Yeah. We're witched in pretty good, but 
I think if it submerges, we can float free. Something's happening. That's not good. Whatever you have to to get safe. That way was 40 meters. Imagine what it's gonna be like when it hits land. This is Billy Ford of the Benthic Explorer, reporting a tsunami wave at my position. 36 degrees, 41 minutes east, 178 degrees, 37 minutes south. It is headed due southwest. I expect it to impact the land in one hour. Uh, copy that, Benthic Explorer. Is that a roadway? We don't have any seismic activity in your position. Negative. It is something different. Listen carefully. Something alive and very large is headed for the coast. Could you repeat that? Some kind of gigantic aquatic life form not seen before. A kaiju is headed for the coast. Sorry, is, is this a joke? I wish it were. Can you get General Horn of the Coast Guard to radio us back? We supply tech for his research vessels. If this kaiju carries on at its current rate, it'll make landfall in four or five hours. Sound the tsunami warning and get General Horn to call us back. We'll be standing by. Copy that. Oh, thank you, Mary. Therese, yeah. do a system scan. See what we've got in terms of power. General, you need to see a bit. Scramble to intercept. Tell the FAC to be getting their feet. Wait, you need good eyes on this. Yes, Sancho. Doing. Power is at 85%. Oxygen depletion rate is high. Not gonna last long at this rate. How long we got? 45 minutes. Let's go. We're stuck on top of a kaiju and now we're running out of oxygen. I'm feeling weak. Anybody feeling that way? Yeah, I can help with that. Where are you going? Sir, if this thing submerges again with the top hatch open, it will flood the chamber. Oh. We're running out of oxygen, and now we're about to be flooded. I did suggest taking the ROV. Why does no one listen to me? I hear you, Riley. I need to see what we're dealing with.
that is not good. Is that? It's magma. It's got magma for blood. Sir, we've got a problem. I don't know what's causing it, but the heat from this thing is off the charts. I know what's causing it. Molten magma. I'm sorry, what? It's got magma for blood. <laughs> magma? We need to get off this thing soon. There's a chance we'll lose structural integrity. Mayday, Mayday. This is the Benthic Explorer calling the Coast Guard. Come in. This is the Coast Guard. Go ahead, Explorer. You are bombing our position. Can you repeat that, Explorer? We are directly in the strike zone. I repeat, we are in your target zone. Call off your airstrike. You need to clear the area, Benthic Explorer. That is not possible. Repeat, clear the area. Our vessel has stranded on your target. We have run aground. Stand by. Come in. They're coming back. This is the Benthic Explorer. I say again, hold your bombing run! Seeing us. Jeez. Get us out of here. Fire. Hard to port. Dive. That thing's coming right down on top of us. We need to move. We can't go any faster. Yes, we can. Initiate invasive maneuvers. Yes, sir. Stubborn fools are led! Yes, sir! We're clear of the kaiju. 600 meters out. Cherise, do a sonar 
Let's get into the sub. Sure. Take it deeper. Sir, we can't keep diving. Without water in the tanks, we'll burn the motors out. Take it down another 500 meters. Are you sure with this heat damage, we can sustain this kind of pressure? If that hull's intact, we need to get a read on it. Sir, we don't have any rescue capabilities. I understand that, Riley, but if the hull's intact, we can at least inform the Navy. We can take over. To do what we can. Anything? It's gone. Are you sure? that kite you headed now? It's tracking away from us at 50 knots. How long before it hits the coast on its current trajectory? If it keeps going, under six hours. But we don't know that that's where it's going. I know. We don't know a damn thing about it. We know it has magma for blood. Yeah, how does that thing even exist? Life forms that live in volcanic vents can exist outside of known biology. What did you say earlier? Born of fire? From the sea. Where did you get that? Legend tells of a gigantic creature born of fire. A volcano coming from the sea. According to the lore, this creature wreaked havoc on their coastal civilization. We had always attributed this devastation to earthquakes, tsunamis. There is evidence of massive destruction in the historical record. It wiped them off the map. This is General Horn calling from the Benton Explorer. General Horn, this is Billy Ford, sir. Sir, our vessel was on site for the submarine attack. I'm sorry to have to inform you that our scans indicate that the hull was breached on impact. They stood no chance, sir. I know. It's a tragedy and a disaster. We're initiating a salvage operation. We'll help in any way we can, sir. What can you tell me about this thing? It's some kind of gigantic sea life form. It's a kaiju, something we've never seen before. To say it's a large creature is an understatement. We have a geomorphology expert on board, and she claims that something like this has happened in the past. It's responsible for massive coastal destruction. What else do you know about it? It has molten magma for blood. It seems to have a hide made out of some kind of volcanic silica. Any attempt to breach this results in an upwelling of this magma that seems to heal it. It's quite a defense mechanism. Sir, I'm not sure if you've heard of us at Benthic Prospecting, but we have a vessel on site. We have underwater drones and ROVs that can get right up close to that thing. We can help stop it. Anything we have is yours. I appreciate the offer. I advise you to stay clear of the area. Sir, my company literally moves mountains. We're experts at underwater demolition, and believe me, this thing needs demolishing. 
This is a military operation. Stay out of it. Sir, my company designed the marine mammal avoidance tech on your ships. We pioneered subsurface to satellite communication technology. We've received three consecutive grants from the Department of Naval Research. We can help. You get your people to safety. If you want to send advice to my staff officers, go ahead. I'll tell them to leave a line open. And Mr. Ford, I want you to know we're going to be looking into the origin of this thing. And if we find even the hint of your involvement, the only money you'll be doing is for Bitcoin to pay off your lawyer fees and fines levied by my department. And you'll be doing it from a prison cell where I guarantee you'll be spending a long, long time. Now, get off the playing field before you become collateral damage. That is not a request. Yes, sir. Son of a bitch. If we were to mount our own operation against this thing, who's with me? I'll stay. Me too. I'm with you. Thank you. This guy tried to run us off. Oh, boy, I'm not gonna leave you there. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. You got eyes on the Kaiji now? Where's mm. it headed? Heading towards the Cape, uh, maybe 12 knots south there. Uh. Okay, let me know if it changes course. Miss Murray, can your geomythology tell us how to kill this Kaiju? We need modern science to fight that thing, not myth. I have to agree. Hey, this thing's biology is completely new. We need science to fight it. In geomythology, the myths of monsters are just ways to describe natural disasters, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions. The kaiju was just a way to describe this. But you did study kaiju similar to this one. Yeah, but kaiju were not really deemed a subject worth studying. In fact, it was discouraged. There was one professor, Rena Hungaroa. She believed kaiju were real, but caused her to be driven from academia. So this Professor Hangaroa is the only living person that knows anything about these monsters. Well, we should go to her and ask her how to kill it. I don't know about that. Why not? She lives off the grid as a recluse. She lives in a cabin in the mountains on the South Island. It's impossible to get hold of her. You can't just call her up. Why not? Just go to her. You can use my chopper. I can't do that. Why? Rena was my mentor in college. And I was the one who challenged her theories. I contradicted her in my thesis. I thought that her classes were wasting my tuition. I didn't go to university to learn about monsters. I didn't see any point in that. I was vocal in my complaints. I'm afraid I was the straw that broke the camel's back. My complaints set a ball rolling, which led to a landslide. I was the one who sent her packing. Well, if you want to help, this is the way to do it. Go to her, find out what she knows. Otherwise, you're just getting in the way. Look, you're the one who knows her. You're the one who should be able to talk to her. Her time is now. We're heading back to the labs. Right here with a chopper to pick us up. What's the latest on the Kaiju? Uh, still heading south, uh, steady 12 knots. I recommend staying at sea until we know where it's headed. I wouldn't want to be in port with that thing around. No, definitely. Uh, Mr. Ford, uh, next time you charter my vessel for a casual hunt, please give me a heads up. Eh? I might be in PG with big bottom girls. <laughs> Good luck, my friend. Merci. Hey, Sam, crazy legs. of the size of the kaiju and the amount of destruction left behind on the seafloor.
North Caldera. This life form has tremendous energy requirements to sustain it. I mean, I'm talking several million kilojoules of energy just to maintain its metabolism. Based on its size and its energy requirements, I believe it's seeking a new place to feed. And it feeds up volcanoes? Or the byproducts of volcanoes, yeah. So where's the nearest volcano? I'll have to do an analysis. I mean, the seafloor here is home to the greatest concentration of submarine volcanoes in the world. But what if it's not going somewhere to feed? We have no idea what its motivation is. I don't have enough information to speculate on its motivation, but what I do know is that its energy requirements are huge. Something like this doesn't emerge for nothing. Listen, we need to deal with what we do know. We need to figure out how to stop it before it reaches the mainland. Miss Murray, go find this ring Hangarilla. Find out what she knows. That thing's gonna reach the mainland in another five hours. Tell her we need her help. I will. Good luck. What's the operational status? We're on the water LIDAR drop. I wanna get a full scan of that creature to see what we're up against. We've only got two more underwater ROVs that are operational. How long till we get more online? In half a day. We'll have to go with what we got. Prepare to send one up. All right, let's see what we can see. How long before we range that thing? This is Desolation Valley. Not much to it. Are you sure this is where you want to go? I'm sure. You're looking for me to change your grade. You're out of luck. I wish that was it. I was wrong. About everything. T? You were right. Kaiju exist. So you would say it has many legs on all sides. How many? At least six. It's hard to say. Most of it was underwater. It also had armored plates on top like a pangolin. Like this? Yeah. Are you sure? What's wrong? The record is very precise on this kind of kayo. It's called a tengu. The name roughly translates as the destroyer. The tengu lives under the earth's crust in the mantle. They feed on volcanic substrata, and that's part of why they are so powerful. They can use the stored up volcanic material as a weapon. It's considered a being of the underworld. The arrival of the Tengu has always coincided with the civilization's downfall. Ancient people didn't have the technology we have today. It will not matter. The power of the Tengu is fire. Earth. Has man ever stopped a volcanic eruption? <laughs> man is insignificant against the power of a tango. And how do we stop it? 
Only... another Kaiokan. The Living Mountain. The Kaiyu Killer. It is said that it lies into slumber, waiting for the Tengu to return. This is the only thing that can stop it. The Living Mountain? We already have one kaiju on the way to the mainland. Are you sure there's nothing else we can do? Humans cannot defeat a tango. Come back with me. I need to hear this from you. I need to get down a little deeper. I want to get a look at the underside of that thing. Copy that. Sending to 50 fathoms. should be within range. I wouldn't go any closer. Okay, we're close enough to initiate the scan. Is that the highest resolution? At this range, that's the highest I can go. We need to get closer. Sir, I would advise against it. We need to get a better image. Sir, I can't guarantee the structural integrity of the ROV if we go any closer. I understand, but we need to get a better image. Now move it in. If we lose this ROV, we only have one left. It's not about the ROV, Riley. It's about the people in the path of this thing. Now move it in. <sighs> Initiating scan. That's a vulnerable spot. Give me a scan of that. The teeth are amorphous metal or metallic glass. It's one of the hardest substances on Earth. This is one tough mother. What makes you think it's a she? Well, with deep sea life, extreme dimorphism is the norm. Females are usually larger by a significant factor. Well, let's hope she's not here looking for a mate. She could be emerging to rendezvous with another of her kind and can't even contain one of these things. Just imagine what might happen. Okay, if let's bring up the ROV. <sighs> It'd be better if it were he. We lost it. Yeah, but now we got a target. We found a vulnerable spot. Based on our scans, I'm revising my total estimate of the mass of the kaiju. The energy requirements of something of this size are vastly higher than my initial hypothesis. And based on these new parameters, she must be headed to a substantial volcano to feed. Well, there's nothing of that size on the ocean floor around here. What if it's not going to a submarine volcano? What if it's going to one on land? Where is the nearest volcano home for the amount of material that thing needs for feeding? The Topo Supervolcano Complex, beyond Auckland. It's a rhyolitic volcano caldera. It's also home to the most recent supervolcano eruption in human history. Yeah, by recent, I mean like 70,000 years ago. Thank goodness, because it covered the North Islands in nearly 200 feet of ash. We need to get General Horn on the line. We should work up a simulation based on the consequences of that thing reaching the Topo Supervolcano Complex. Hello, who am I speaking to? We have solid evidence that this kaiju is headed for the Talpo supervolcano complex. Do you understand the significance of that statement? If Talpo erupts, the resulting ash cloud could throw the Earth into a nuclear winter scenario. That is not an overstatement. You need to convey that to the general. In addition, we believe we found the Achilles heel of the kaiju. Repeat what? Achilles heel, you know, like a, a weakness. How do we know this? We were the first to encounter the kaiju. Who are we? We are a marine scientific and exploration outfit. What do we want? We want to convey the severity of the threat to the general. Look, this isn't about the kaiju getting awkward anymore. It's gone way beyond that. If Taupo were to erupt, it could be the end of humanity itself. 
Thank you. Kaiju feeds on volcanic compounds like sulfur dioxide, manganese sulfate. I think it's reasonable to infer there may be a potentially explosive mix of chemicals inside its stomach, a, a reverse volcano, as it were. Now, if we were to get the right compounds into that stomach, then boom, internal explosion, hopefully enough to kill the creature. But how do we get past its teeth? If they are metallic glass, we're talking one of the toughest materials on Earth. Well, we'll need to design a delivery system that triggers the payload on being crushed. Use the creature's own defense mechanism to provide a pathway inside. Yes, Mr. Prime Minister, I'm not saying you should forego coastal evacuations. We will stop it before it reaches the coast, you have my word. But ma'am, none of us have dealt with this type of threat before. Who? Billy Ford? Look, I don't want to tell you what to do, but if it were me, I'd steer clear of that dog and pony show. What? No, I'm not being combative. I will talk to him. Yes, ma'am. I'll get back to you as soon as I have anything to report. That piss and publicity hog, Billy Ford has got some friends in Parliament. He calls again, put him through. Yes, sir. How long before the blockade's in place? We should be there by 1400 Zulu. Our ship will be in position long before the kaiju reaches the continental shelf. Okay, forget what the tree huggers say. I want to use a sonic weapon. I mean, it is a national emergency, right? Everything is in place. I'm ready for your command. It better be. I've got too many years under my belt for my to have to read presided over the destruction of Auckland. I'm with you, sir. Mr. Ford, I got an interesting call from the Prime Minister. Why didn't you call direct like I requested? Oh, uh, you did, huh? Who was it? Media relations? Okay, well, don't take it personally, but if I spoke to every civilian who has an idea on how to deal with this thing, our phone bill would bankrupt the Treasury. You go ahead, Mr. Ford. General, we've got some new intel to share with you on the Kaiju. We believe it's heading for a new volcano to feed on, and we think it's got its sights set on the Taupo supervolcano complex. That is kilometers inland. What indication do you have that this creature can even go on land? I wouldn't limit your views on what it might be capable of. My people say the weight of that thing is too high to support itself on land. We've done the calculations, and yes, there would be liquefaction of the soil, but that's only going to add to the collateral damage. Once the soil's in a liquid state, it's going to allow the kaiju to move easier. My job is to protect the coastal cities, not worry about a volcano 250 kilometers away. Sir, its armored skin is made of hardened silica, volcanic glass. Its teeth are made of a polymetallic alloy. Both are nearly indestructible. However, we believe we found a weak spot. If we can get a shot down its throat, Obviously, we gotta get past the teeth, but if we can get a shot down its throat, we think we can start a chain reaction in the volcanic materials of its digestive tract. It's our only chance of taking it out. I'll send over our findings. You do that, and listen, stay out of the operating theater. The last thing your friends in Parliament wanna hear is that you and your people were taking out my friendly fire. You got that? You got that? I do, loud and clear. I'm not gonna let that thing destroy our planet. We got one remaining ROV, right? Yes, sir. Sharice, let's do some calculations. I want to see how much explosive we can pack onto that thing and still be able to maneuver it to the target. I want to get the maximum we can and still be able to fly that thing. Riley, we need to design a secondary drone module as part of the payload. It'll deploy when the kaiju inevitably crushes it. I want to use the creature's own momentum against it to deliver the kill shot. Copy that. We need this operational prano. Charisse did assure me it'll still fly, but I think 
This is the safest place for us to be during the launch. Take her up. Watch your speed. We need to drop it nice and easy. What, you don't want it to detonate when it hits the water? <laughs> as soon as that thing gets clear of our positions, I want total air and sea bombardment. Stand by for my command. In the meantime, I want all hands on getting our people out of the water. No one gets left behind. That's not one of ours, is it? Negative. It looks to be some kind of remotely operated underwater drone from the signature. Ah, bored. Look, get a squad of MPs over to Bethany Industries headquarters. Shut it down. Or arrest anyone you find on the premises. You use extreme force if you have to. This is not a day to operate in my theater. Get to it on the double. Hey, yes, sir. Somebody let me know when to clear the fire on that thing. We need to take it out now. We're almost within range. Initiating deep scan now. All right. Approaching target. This is it. We get one chance at this. Steady. Keep it away from the legs. Back on track. Okay, Sherry's. Initiate scan for final targeting. Initiating scan. Triangulating target. Oh, crap. Oh, this is it. Listen, Riley, Sharice, go. I'll distract him while you get away. I'll take the blame for this. Now go. You need us to complete the mission. I'll guide it on my own. Now go. It takes two to do this. I'll stay. Sharice, you go. No. We're in this together. Okay. Let's do it. Very target. Nearing target in five, four, three, Two, one. Everyone, hands up! Away from your stations. Did it work? I don't know. Now, I'm sure you understand the Posse Camatatus Act prevents our detention. Call up General Horn and we'll sort this out. Take that up with the General. My orders are to bring you in. Dead or alive? What was that? Nothing. Mm. We're happy to cooperate. Oh. Maybe that's the general now. May I? Hello, Billy, where are you? We'll take that for evidence. Oh, she hung up. Why don't you call up your boss and we'll sort out whatever misunderstanding this is? You're coming with us. Move.
of them blew up on the belly over that thing. Call the MPs for a report. I need to talk to Billy Ford. There's been some kind of a mistake. You can bet your bitches there is the kaiju. I don't know what you did, but it killed over here and started laying eggs. Eggs? When I say laying, it'd be better to say shooting eggs. I've never seen anything like it. They've been shooting out of the caucus like it's Guy Fawkes Day. Sounds like some kind of terminal preservation reflex. Yeah, we got a hell of a mess on our hands. General, if these eggs start hatching, they're going to need a source of food. And if they're anything like the mama, they're going to want to feed on volcanic materials. I'd say the biggest threat we face right now is they start feeding on the Taupo supervolcano. If that complex erupts, it's going to send the Earth into a nuclear winter. I'm talking a new ice age. Release me and I can help you contain these things. I can't do that. But I will direct them to bring you here to me. In the meantime, we're scrambling to bring the Air Force and the Royal Marines in to contain these things. So do we. I hope yours is good. I'll send you my location and you can come and pick us up. Where's Riley? He didn't make it. I'm sorry. So you predicted all this. How do we stop them? The Living Mountain. The Kayo Killer. It has to be awakened to fulfill its destiny. Well, how do you know this Living Mountain's not gonna make things worse? Because this is what has been passed down in the ancient stories. 
people knew it was so important that they managed to pass it down generation after generation without the benefit of written word. The stories from the past are passed on to the future to protect us. They survived because they contain the knowledge that will save them. To ignore them is to ignore the wisdom that has enabled man to prosper and survive. The law is very clear. The living mountain is our only hope. If ancient people manage to defeat the Kayo, then so can we. But we have to trust what they have chosen to pass down to us. We have to awaken the living mountain. And if we don't? All that we love will perish. So, how do we awaken a living mountain? The blood of the Kayu will cause it to awaken. The blood? Great. It's got magma for blood. How are we going to get that anywhere? The eggs. The eggs will have blood. If we can jettison everything that's not essential from the chop, we might be able to lift it. And you say you know where this kaiju killer is? Yes, the law is very clear. Monster Island. things the whole swarm will attack some kind of pheromone response like killer bees if you wound one of them the whole group swarms to attack we've lost half of some choppers already and we can't just carpet bomb the volcano it's too volatile my people tell me that it's primed to blow at any minute look pal i hate to say this but i need your advice i have some but you're not gonna like it guarantee we need to move now we'll get to go okay Rena tell us where to go we're going to Moto Tonawa Could it be another caldera? 
Hey, the closest one to Mototaniwa is White Island. It's an active andesite strata volcano. I have a volcano. It sounds like a crater. There's an active crater in Mototaniwa. A monster island. Well, that makes sense. So we need to get the blood into the crater. We can't just drop the egg in because from the way it falls, it'll probably be able to withstand a direct impact. And those creatures can survive in a volcano. We need a plan to get the blood out. What if we use a volcano to open it? Temperature difference. Uh, so what you're suggesting is that we, we can heat the egg using the volcano's thermal vents. And then, then we... dip it in the ocean so the cold water cracks it. I've seen lava reduced to rubble once it contacts the ocean. And then we drop the broken egg into the eye of the volcano. Blood in the eye. This could definitely work. something. Get it out in the open first. Hey! 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 Here! Come on! Here! Come on! Come on! Go! Go!
not leaving him. Waterfront is jammed with onlookers who have come down to get a first person look at the creature responsible for sinking the Navy's destroyer and submarine in what is being called the Battle of the Bay of Plenty. It is unclear how the government plans to deal with this now dead menace, call it a monster, a kaiju, or what you will. It is now a quarter million ton nuisance. Officials have told me they are planning on taking proposals on how to remove the carcass. There is no telling how long it'll take to remove from the harbor. For now, there is a new attraction at the port. One we are hoping we never see again. This is Susan Mayerhold reporting for Channel 7, live at the waterfront. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! This is Susan Mayerhold reporting. The kaiju has awakened. I repeat, the kaiju is alive. It is taken to the air. Any water for the flight pad, take cover! say about awakening the living mountain when the blood of the kaya falls in the eye of the mountain it will awaken what if it wasn't a metaphor about the volcano but it was literal you've got to get kaiju blood into that thing's eye it could be interpreted like that guys that thing needs our help not lava in its eye what other choice do we have it's worth a shot this is highly unorthodox but some of the petroglyphs could be interpreted to support this. Blood in the eye. You have an idea. The injured kaiju. The hatchling. We need to find something to stab it with. Something that'll withstand lava. 
Look, we're obsidian. Volcanic glass. Use the knowledge of the ancients. Let's do this. I don't know how long this will last. Let's go. Survive this. I'm changing my methods. I thought it would take the earth. It's going out. I think we're all in agreement. Rena, you got room for some new students? If you give up your minds, yes. Done and done. We'll start with the mining and then look at your manufacturing facilities. Don't push it. We're still gonna need some money if we're gonna save the planet. <laughs> Rena, any more of those kaiju out there? Oh yes, they are many still. Friends and foes. Slumbering still, you will see. The whole world is Monster Island. And we have a lot of work to do. 